Hello and welcome to the 17th tutorial in the Swift programming series and in this part we're going to look at function parameters. In the previous part we looked at functions and function basically allow you to group code and you can call it several times. Function parameters allow you to send values to those functions when it is called for example a simple math function may add two numbers together. Obviously you can do more complex stuff in your program and you most likely will but we're just going to implement a simple math function that like we just said in let's just add the numbers together so what we're going to do is first just declare a function we're going to call print math function and then to declare the parameters you put it within the brackets so you put the parameter name or the local parameter name which I'll take it outside the function you can't be accessed and then you put colon and its data type I'm going to put int number now you gotta put comma first my bad number two colon int so that bracket I mean breakpoint what we're gonna do is just print line number one times by number two so it's gonna do number one times the number two and print it out when this function is called so I mean, yeah, print math function, they specify the numbers, these can also be variables that are an integer, or perhaps it could be something like a float and you cast it to an int, which we talked about tug casting earlier on in this series. So I'm going to put 5 and 7, so the result should be 35. Now we run it, and we have a result of 35. But if I just get rid of these, it no longer works because obviously they are a function called this but what you can do is an extra thing I'll show you is print ln I want to put basic function now if I run this you'll run the regular one is in the one without parameters so the compiler is smart enough to know that oh uh, you're calling a function it has no parameters there's two functions with that name but uh, you're calling the one with no parameters so we'll just obviously call this one obviously but if you were to put parameters in there like six and eight so you should get the result of 48 it calls this one so that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we want to look at the function return statement. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the requirements for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.